<coughs> hey guys um it's christy i don't know why i'm so weird <laughs> anyway welcome back to littles and loving it um my skin is glowing mm -hmm. i don't have on any foundation either i just use my products <laughs> anyway um what is it vlogtober day 11 i think y'all it's kind of hard for me to keep up with these days anyway i think it's vlogtober day 11 um what's going on so Hayden is taking a nap. I just did a video on this look. Um, well, it was two looks, and this is the one that I was actually wearing today. So I did this one last. But it's kind of how to style your hair with a front twist. So I just finished that. Yeah, I've been getting these videos done. Um, I just need to, I need to finish editing the makeup video that I did yesterday, and then I, when I'm completely done editing that one, which hopefully will be today, um, I'm gonna start editing the video on this hair. So, yeah, that's that. I'm sitting here watching the first 48, and I um, turned on the app. I'm trying to do Postmates before Alex gets home today, but I don't know. I haven't had any calls so far, um, and we live inside the circle thing, so I literally just, a lot of times, not all the time, like during the day, just sit at the house and turn the app on and wait to get a call, but I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, I think I said I was about to eat lunch, but first I'm about to take these two pills. Can you see them? Okay. So the white one is metformin. I started taking my metformin again like a week ago. I'm so off and on with it, but um, I really try to, I really do try. It's just dealing with the symptoms can be difficult. Um, so that's the metformin. And then this is a cinnamon capsule so i had read like a long long time ago that uh, cinnamon and chromium i think is called um is it chromium anyway they help um lower your a1c over time so you take it um like before you eat let me see uh, yeah it's chromium because this one has chromium in it so I hate taking pills. You guys. So I'm sitting here on my couch eating my lunch. And I realize I have a problem. <laughs> I am obsessed with the first 48. And Ghost Hunters. Or Ghost Adventures and Ghost Hunters. Like that's all I watch. <laughs> that and Nike YouTube. Um, I have a problem. Like, I have been binging on the first 48 yesterday and today. Before that, I was binging on, like, Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures. I think one of them is called Paranormal Investigators. I love stuff like that, and it's weird because I love to watch that kind of stuff um, in October. I like scary movies. And, yeah, so watching it in October with, like... I can't have a glass of wine during the daytime like that right now because I have my baby um, and we're on one car right now so <clears throat> I gotta be able to drive <laughs> but like with a snack um, and just I don't even like be editing videos while I'm watching it I'm a little bit obsessed I like stuff like that like I don't know I'm weird I wanna um <laughs> I want to go to New Orleans, and I want to stay in a um, haunted hotel, and I want to do the whole um, haunted tour thing. I think that would be really fun. That's like a bucket list thing for me. But yeah, I'm weird like that. Who else is weird like that? Who likes to like binge on scary stuff and uh, yeah, who like kind of wants to experience it? Now, I don't want to experience everything because some stuff is just too out there for me but I, I like the usually like I, I'm a little bit more into just like the history of something and why they say it's haunted and not in actually if like ghosts are real and stuff like that um, but usually with with these places there's a really interesting history that comes with the building so yeah comment below if you're weird like that too <laughs> 
I was just sitting here thinking like, man, I'm weird. I'm watching all this weird stuff. <coughs> I don't know how my husband deals with me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I'm going to go finish eating. <laughs> so, I look short. <laughs> anyway, um, so welcome back to Littles and Loving It. Um, today is Vlogtober Day 11. I didn't really vlog yesterday. Um, but I am, let's see, I just left Walmart. I am on my way to Hobby Lobby, which is like literally across the way here. Um, I got two orders yesterday for um, the birthday um, gift set, which it includes a scrub and a matching soap. Or, I mean, it doesn't have to be matching. You can choose um, your fragrance. And um, also the soaps come personalized. So with the birthday person's initials on it. Um, so anyway, I got two um, orders of those yesterday. So I am driving around Fayetteville, <laughs> uh, getting the things that I need. Because it's personalized, I don't have, uh, where's that? Because it's personalized, it's a couple of things I need to get. Um, and then also I'm going to be making some lavender scented um let's see some lavender scented and some sweet orange scented bath soaks today so i had to pick up the stuff for that i have some peppermint soaks but um after i make the lavender and the orange um sweet orange with i should still have some more left and if i do then i'm gonna make a couple more um peppermint scented I got invited to a um, to do a pop-up shop on November 17th. I really want to go. So I need to start getting stuff together now for it because um, it's going to be, I need to have, I figure for my first pop-up shop, um, maybe like five of everything, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go into my little heaven, also known as Hobby Lobby. I have Hey Hey with me. Um, and we're going to pick up some things. I don't need a lot of stuff. But we're going to get the stuff I do need. Guys, so I made it home. I fed Hayden. Um, and I'm getting ready to get, um, started on these soaps. So I'm not going to show you guys the whole process because, of course, this is my business. Um, but... I don't mind showing um, some of how it goes, and I don't mind showing the um, base that I use. Hold on. Um, can you let me go, little girl? So, I'm using a clear base and a shea butter soap. So, those are the two. So, I'm using... This one, that's the shea, and this one is the clear. So these are the two bases that I'm using for this particular soap. I do add other things in, other oils, um, but again, I won't be showing those. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my mold. This is the mold that I use for the um, personalized uh, birthday soaps. So, I'm gonna take my mold. Take this is just um, ninety one percent, ninety one percent alcohol, and I'm just gonna spray. I just, I just spray it to keep everything sterile, and I've already washed my hands. So um, I'll come back to you guys when I'm actually like putting the stuff together. So here I have, I've started on my bath soak. I finished my soap. Um, it just needs to um, harden before I show it to you guys. But this is my bath soak. This is going to be the lavender. And so I, I split the batch in half because I'm going to do one batch that's purple and one that's, um, one that's going to stay white. And it's going to be like this, except um, it'll be purple and white. So I just wanted to show you guys. Of course, I'm not going to say all of what's in it, you know, for obvious reasons. I'm still trying to get my business off the ground. So anyway, um, I just used this 
um, hand mixer though put everything in this bowl and blended it up and then um, split it in half so I will come back to you like right before I bag it up Hey guys, hey, so I finally finished what I needed to finish for today. Um, and now it's time for me to sit down and eat, but I do want to show you um, how everything came out. So let's see how the lighting does for me. I have peppermint here. You can see the difference in the colors. This one is lavender. And you can kind of see, yeah, you can kind of see the difference. And then the uh, sweet orange, you can't really see the difference because the orange is almost the same color as the um, the white. So this is a sweet orange. And I made, I made lots. So I'm trying to figure out how much I'll see ya. <laughs> I guess I'll just put them on the table. So I have... This is the sweet orange, but I ran out of labels. I finished the soap. This is it. It has like um, glitter. You can't, it's not showing up on camera. It has glitter in it. The LB is um, the birthday girl's initials. And this is scented in um, peach mango. So, and then she wanted it a magenta color. So we have it here. The camera isn't quite picking it up. But this is it. And then um, this is going to go with a, um, what am I trying to say? A peach mango scented scrub as well. So that's going to be um, the birthday gift. And let me show you all these decadent, moisturizing, just beautiful, beautiful bath soaks that I have here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is it. I have to um, print more of these out. Just just has my um, social media handles on it, so I have to print more of these out, and then I just write to be careful on the back of these because these do have oils in them, and I don't want you to slip in your tub. This is the one that um, needs the label. It's sweet orange, but this is what I made. All of these um, these ones I made a couple days ago. But they smell so good. They feel so moisturizing. And they're just so beautiful to me. These could be great for mommies. For like a, a gift for mommy. Or a gift for wifey. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Peppermint. Let's see. Lavender and sweet orange. Alright you guys. I'm about to go sit down and eat lunch.